Well, this dash and bash is um, kind of um, upsetting, but luckily everybody's alive at the moment. But um, but we're gonna talk about the one thing that did not get fixed. Even though I gotta we had stop you there. The... I gotta stop you. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I just want to say that not everybody's alive. Been... We crossed a very grim milestone since the last time we did Black Power Magic Hour. What was that, Mister Rhodes? That's what I'm gonna say now. Like, even though after we had one in the you know global pandemic, at this point we're past the Kansas flu pandemic of 1918. We're past that already. The amount of deaths, yet you know we don't have you know universal health care. You think that we're I wasn't like, talking about that one. I was oh, talking, talking about, about the three quarters of a million mark that have passed away. Yes, I'm talking because about. of in whole or in part by the Rona. You think that all those fifty thousand Americans? You think one hundred sixty-five, seven hundred fifty thousand people will like inspire government officials to like you know provide health care easier for people? Um, it won't. It won't inspire people in, <laughs> Georgia, in Georgia, Texas, Louisiana, Florida, Arkansas. It's Kentucky. inspiring people to do it's the not opposite. Inspiring a, a whole bunch of people. It's inspiring. Not, it's inspiring people to hire people to go up to doctors and knock the fucking like medical equipment out their hands. Like, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, that. but again, you know, <laughs> th- you know, three quarters of Americans now have had at least one dose. So, like, you know, let's let's. I don't want to unfairly misrepresent right oh, yeah because people had to get back to work that's what but happened right seven hundred and fifty thousand I, I can't even believe i just said that like i I'm, i just confused i was like did i just say seven hundred and fifty thousand yeah been, I, that's the number I, I don't I don't talk about numbers like that that often but i'm so supposed to never forget 9 11 2900 people yeah but right <laughs> we were pulling 9-11 numbers on a daily basis plus but it ain't real and so so that's why i want to lead to this story about the healthcare system that this obviously is super complicated i think that a lot of reasons the anti-vax movement exists because of the healthcare system and a lot of reasons this pandemic is 750 000 people is because of the healthcare system it's like i disagree of, huh you know why what because the people that are all anti-vax now yeah they were making fun of the soy the soy people all 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 of these you know ridiculous you know leftists that didn't want to vaccinate their kids to send them to school you know for mmr right remember we had all of that going on that was less than two years ago and they were denigrating those people for being anti-vax now now they are anti-vax fuck out of here oh you're talking about the talkers i I mean like just like the everyday guy who's kind of like passing by who's still hesitant i mean there's still like the the crazy people who's keeping the whole family from being vaccinated and then they they die and the kids are orphaned that's i hope that stuff happening but maybe not um (laughs) so but, but I want to go about this issue with uh, this this healthcare system that's even yeah. more broken than it was And this before. has nothing to do with money. And this is the thing that fucks me up. This has nothing to do with money. This has everything to do with the fact. And, and, and we can kind of dovetail this with why a lot of black people don't budge when it comes to whatever health mandate the government comes out with because when it comes down to how black people experience the healthcare system and we're not even talking from a, from an economic standpoint when we bring issues to doctors they look at our skin color and say you know what i'm going to take their reported symptoms with a grain of salt you know what all these things that you're experiencing you're black you can't possibly know your own body because you're only three-fifth human right so so this story is it's crazy about jamie so so pretty much jamie received the first symptom of breast cancer at 25. i mean she had years to like get ahead of this um, yeah but she went to the doctor and the doctor said don't worry about it you're too young for breast cancer um even though symptoms continued they even escalated her treatment began to be denied and discharged denied and delayed um it kept getting worse i mean this is terrible cysts begin to grow um and then it still said she was still young even though cysts um discharge 
um, diluted breast ducts, all that stuff was happening. And the doctor was still saying, oh, you're too young, you're too young, you're too young. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. So, 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 so is it one of the things that really annoys me. And this is across is different states, Alaska, Georgia, Washington. They knew that her dilated breast uh, 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 milk ducts were, were fucked up, right? So they knew that it was serious of there was serious enough of an issue to have it removed. But then they took that tissue and then did not even test that tissue. It, how how much how much re, how difficult would it have been for you to simply take? the tissue that you just removed because we all know that anytime you do any kind of surgery no matter how small or large the incision any kind of surgery brings a whole host of risks so, so if you so didn't want to do a biopsy straight out the gate so, so now this, you're removing breast tissue you're not even going to test the tissue that you removed so this goes back to what the doctor tells her at the end of this article. Like, my doctor told me I did everything right. I just slipped through the cracks of the system. How do you slip through the cracks of the system if you're going to the doctor all the time? That's the opposite of slipping nah, through the nah, cracks. That, yeah, <laughs> I thought that, that, yeah, I thought that that was... Because the thing is, they intentionally did the not system. test her. She was all in the system. Asking. Yeah. She kept asking for the fucking test and they kept saying yeah. no. This is not them failing to see something on a on a test. This is somebody saying, look at all the shit that's happening and you saying, eh, no. And and I didn't think about this before I came across this this story, right? But it just hit me. Why the fuck do you want me to wear uh, pink ribbons and I got I got to hear about breast cancer awareness for a whole fucking month as if other cancers don't exist. Right. But then when somebody is actually aware of the symptoms of breast cancer, you tell her, nah, no, that must be nah, so infuriating, right? They're like, no. So what you're but so and the thing is, I, I again, like, I, you know, for me, I'm really hesitant to play the race card you know how i feel about that um no, it's all about, but, uh, race. How be the here fuck, about race if that was a if that was a young 25 year old blonde hair blue eyed or blue hair blonde eyed woman and you know she, you know she's you know the, the 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 homecoming queen do they do that biopsy uh, do I they was, do that test i think according to, according to the stats from like historical stats they definitely would. They would definitely check her, um, just for just because they feel like sympathy for this person because because that's what whiteness does to people. I um, mean, their in their brains. Because um, you know, I hear yeah. I hear all the time about how mm. black women are the least protected, and in some cases, I'm just kind of like, come on, son. But then when you look at the entire when you took look at the entire landscape of all of society how the fuck can i argue with that i can't a 25 year old woman said i felt this and then 27 29 31 33 she's saying look i've got escalating symptoms now she's at a point where she's got abnormal breast tissue now growing on her spine so that's the other side of it which is like um, you know, someone who's take actually have the resources and the doctors are like get bent and they now they have stage four cancer. Um, um, Jamie, and this is another side of the story. I, this is actually breaking news that people probably heard about because it was so crazy. So, a woman, um, this woman, Emery, uh, uh, says Emery Healthcare told her you get charged before you are seen, not being seen. So she got a, a ER bill for spending seven hours in the waiting room without being treated. Um, Check so your mailboxes, what- y'all. So because if people, you're not being treated, they could just send you a bill for six hundred and eighty eight dollars and thirty five cents. This is what people try to scare you about. Oh, we socialize health care. You could be waiting for the doctor until your fucking skeleton in the waiting room. And then the, and then the, the birds are going to take your bones from your skeleton. You know, well, how about do. just being charged six hundred and eighty eight dollars and thirty five cents <laughs> just for existing? They'll just send you the bill because, remember, you're not charged for being seen. So 
theoretically, they could just send a bill to everybody in America. <laughs> so a Georgia woman spit. So, you uh, know what? This is, we got to show. This story is so crazy. You just have to pull up the video. Oh, I'm going to pull up the video to watch the. the I'm trying to remain story. professional, y'all. Um, they make it real difficult I'm with, show with the, this bullshit. I might as well just show the local news story so you can get some visuals of this. Yeah. A trip to the emergency room cost her hundreds of dollars, even though she was never treated, never seen. She says she left after sitting in the waiting room for hours. No one looked her in the eyes. Plus, we need to let this overweight white guy report on it because, you know, just for how can you inside verify that what we're room. saying is true of an overweight white guy? It's, kind of it's, it's, called, it's, called, it's called the like white coat theory. Exists, but this charge it's is not true until a white guy Masoo says it. <laughs> it's often added to your total hospital bill and the amount can vary between hospitals. What do you mean I have a bill for that day? I didn't do anything. I was really just shocked. Taylor Davis says she went to the emergency room at Emory Decatur Hospital hospital for a head injury. She sat in the waiting room for hours, but with no end in sight, she decided to leave. And I realized, you know, I should be sitting in the emergency room, emergency room for seven hours. But a couple of weeks later, this surprise came in her mailbox, a bill from the hospital for nearly $700. I didn't get my vitals taken. Nobody called my name. I wasn't seen at all. I just came sat in a chair for seven hours and left. Davis says she was convinced it was a mistake. So I call them and they're like, you know, it's hospital protocol. Even if you're just walking in and you're seen, I mean, you're not seen when you type in your social, that's it. She says she was told it was an emergency room visit fee or a facility fee, as it's called in some cases. Wow. And it's often added to a person's total hospital. That's bill, a lie. So Don't it might everyone... not be as noticeable as it is in this case. Now that the news is saying Davis something that doesn't happen. Patient financial services employee <laughs> says, quote, you get charged before you are seen. This not is bullshit. This is, this is a scam. And the sent a statement that the local that news is validated right now. Teams are currently looking into this matter and will follow up directly with the individual. But now that she knows what she can potentially be charged for, Davis says, unfortunately, she'll think twice before stepping foot in an emergency room. Pause, 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 Yo, pause, don't the pause, local pause, news pause. help people? And that's, We're gonna that's go. exact, dude, that's exactly what, down. oh my God, don't that is exactly what crossed my fucking mind when I, I, I sat here and I just, I, I just absorbed what was being said. And the very <laughs> first thing I thought was, this is going to encourage people to not seek medical treatment when they need it. That is what is going to be the the the, the consequence of this, because I think about it like this. Right. Right. We already know here in New York City how much it costs to even call an ambulance. Right. If I needed medical attention. If I had a leg, if I have my right leg amputated, I will drive with my left foot to avoid being transport. I will, I will take my severed right leg. I will throw it in, in, in the foot well uh, of, the, of the, the passenger compartment in my car. And I will drive bleeding out with my left leg. I'll drive out. No, nah, I'm good. I don't need the, I don't need the ambulance. Thank you very little. So we already had that. We already had the fact that people don't want to call for an ambulance when they need it. it now just... you get a head injury. Oh, it could cost me a thousand dollars to not be seen or taken care of. You know what? I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait and see. I think I'm going to go to sleep and never wake up. Yeah. You know, like... Yeah. I think I think because that's cheaper, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. It is cheaper to be cremated than it is to not be seen by a doctor. Fuck out of here. This is crazy to me. I, I'm, I'm just shocked by how they reported that. They didn't report like we're gonna we're gonna help this lady. Uh, that's what that's what media journalism, in some ways, is supposed to be. It's supposed to like help people in other ways. Tell the story. Media is helping themselves and whoever owns Yo, they're the, like, the, they're the, the like, media they're company. They're like they're like lady, you asses on your own. Next time you get hurt, you better. You saw at the end, they were like, next time when she gets hurt, she better know not to go to the hospital. Like, that's yep. how they ended it. <laughs> it's yep. like, yo. Yep. And you yo, know, you know, it's a, you know the, the official so statement, too, right? Georgia, huh? You know, it's the official statement, too, right? From, from the house. Yeah, we will follow up with her per, uh, privately. I then, give her money. Fa fa fast forward, fast forward, uh, ma'am, um, we will sue you if you ever tell anybody what we do uh, ever again. It's no uh, so pay the six hundred and eighty-eight dollars. 
you better pay and you better issue a retraction and apologize for outing us for uh, scamming you. And if you don't do that, you'll be hearing from our very expensive, high powered attorneys. And then that's nerve, really the follow up that's that that woman is facing. And the, the thing ner- is, the nerve that they say the nerve for that. Did it surprise you as a black woman? That's normal. Does it surprise you, surprise you that it's a black woman they did this? Because again, they want to act like this is standard protocol. How come nobody's ever standard. heard of this before? That's not standard. This is li- that, this, I can't there's believe there's nothing standard about it. There's nothing legit about that report. This now that's the, that's the most crooked ass she, her, report. Her, her social security number must end in an odd number, and it was like, oh, there's a nigga chick. Uh, let's let's start, let's let, let's get the charging. Let's get that'd to charging. Like, that'd be like if they report a mob hit, and you'd be like, you know, the mafias are still out there, but it's not their fault. They got the bullets right in that guy's head. Next time, when you snitch on the mafia, you better watch out. That's how, that's how it felt at the end. Like, what? <laughs> like, yep. It was like the important yep. for the mob. You're like, what? <laughs> like, and let this be a lesson to all y'all needing health care. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? We will assassinate your checking account. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. I, it, it's like... And the thing is, like, we're looking at a caricature of real life ever since the Rona started. Yeah. And to me, this is like the fucking cherry on, on top, man. Like, you know, and, and especially the fact that this has gone viral and now it's hit mainstream media. You know, and, and you know, again, I, I know that some people might um, criticize me for making it a racial issue, but it's very hard not to. Um but I think that poor people of all races, Hispanic, white, uh, whatever, um, I think a lot of I think a lot of people are going to look at this and then they're going to think twice about getting the medical care that they need. And um, because that's, they know that they can't what, afford it. But that's what happens in this country. You let bad 60 percent of people cannot absorb a four hundred dollar emergency. Let, right. Let, so imagine you have a seven hundred dollar bill for just sitting in the emergency room. And not being seen. Then, what do you think that is going to do to more than half of Americans? And that's what's happening right now. Like, like, like everyone keeps saying, if you let if you let terrible things, new terrible things happen to black people long enough, it's going to start happening to everybody else. Um, oh yeah, and that's why <laughs> you know, you know, I, you know, I think there's like an old saying uh, that goes something like an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere because if you don't stand up for this group. What's going to who's going to be left to stand up for you when you become the next group? Right. Yeah. So, you know, there is a bunch of people out there that revel in the difficulties that uh, people of color uh, face every day and working class people. But but now you have Kyle Wittenhouse, who's who they're trying to fight for him to get away of killing two white guys. So. um, So there, there you have it. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. and, and, and he he's there with an illegal weapon uh, in a state he doesn't live in under age. And, and then he gets to claim self-defense for a situation he put himself in. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So could you imagine, that. you know, I was actually thinking about this, right? Yeah. Um, could you imagine if I went to rob a convenience store with a weapon and I get shot by the clerk? Yeah. Like, should I be able to like sue? Because you know, you try to rob. You yeah, rob like, like I, I put myself in that situation to get shot, right? Where that guy's self defense because you're you're attacking this guy and his livelihood. So I right, I but, I, but, I, but I <laughs> I shot. went in there. I went in there. Luckily, they have a bigger gun. My presence yeah. is committing yeah. a felony. How yeah. the fuck? What, what if what if he points a gun at me and I shoot him? Can I claim self defense when <laughs> I'm the one? That brought that that brought but calling, the problem, but, but that's what they're doing with Kyle House right now. Somehow the robber who did the shooting is gonna get away with it. So and claim so. self defense when he's the <laughs> one, you know. And it's you know it's really funny. Uh, I've seen people on Twitter claiming but, that there's I mean, a self defense ma- issue, right? But here's the funny is, thing. But here's the funny thing. Fap, fap the dash and bash. So that's yeah, dash but, and bash. But this but saying, so- just check check this out, people. Just one second. Check this out, people. The the guy. They say that he should not be, he should not have to face murder charges because the guy that he didn't kill pointed a gun at him. But the two people that didn't point a gun at him, that makes it complete self-defense. He shouldn't face murder charges. The people were trying to struggle to get the gun out of his hands. Um, 
Because he was shooting at me. He was trying to Those disarm people. me. I need to defend myself from <laughs> this person trying to disarm me. <laughs> After you're shooting them, I mean, this, this trial, but, but, but the media is going to somehow spin this into some bizarre way of somehow he had to, like, and I hope, and I hope the jury doesn't, that's the thing. You thought Zimmerman was going to be bad? Oh, dear God. Um, that's, but we're going to say I that already know he's going to walk. We're gonna say that for live. For yeah, live yeah, we're, we're gonna talk to y'all about this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, this... that that's a dash and bash, um, uh, neglecting black women edition, uh, yes. neglecting black women in healthcare edition. Yes. 